So right now we're on old Route 66 in Continental Divide, New Mexico. And we're headed towards the center of New Mexico, which is about, about two hours away from here. But what's interesting about Continental Divide is right now it's raining here. And the rain that's falling on this side is heading towards the Pacific Ocean. And the rain that's falling over here is heading towards the Atlantic Ocean, apparently. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what this sign behind me says. So I just moved over to get out of the rain. But yeah, Continental Divide is a pretty cool place to stop if you're on Route 66. But right now, like I said, we're heading towards the center of New Mexico. So let's go. So we have a brief break in the rain and we've made it to what's called the geometrical center of New Mexico. Like a lot of states, there's differing opinions on where the center of the state is. In New Mexico, it's kind of a square shape and so this is the geometrical center of New Mexico. Basically they took a line from each of the four corners, drew an X through the state and where the lines all met is the geometrical center. Luckily the geographical center is right near here too, so we'll take a look at that. But let's take a look at the geometrical center first. So here we are at the seven up, seven down ranch. The geometrical center of New Mexico is actually on private property, but they do allow you to come out and make your way to the geographical center. You can actually drive up this road and actually drive out to it sometimes. Uh, we actually went down there and the gate to it was closed right now. So we're gonna take this little walk through this gate, past these cows, and there should be a marker for the geometrical center uh, somewhere just over this hill. You could kind of see the flag pull off in the distance. That is where the geometrical center of New Mexico is. And it looks like there's some bulls over there, so we're going to be super cautious walking over there. It seems like the uh, cows are heading the same direction we are, over to the flagpole. And the flagpole is actually a lot farther from the road than it first appeared. So it looks like the cows have beaten us over to the monument. As I mentioned, this is private property and it's really cool that this is here and that they allow people to come out and visit it. So if you do decide to come out here yourself, just be sure to be courteous, make sure to shut the gate so none of the cows escape and leave the cows alone. Though there is no way I'm messing with any of these cows. They are huge. And the cows have cleared out. So we're gonna head over and check out the geometric center of New Mexico. And here we are, here's the geometric center of New Mexico. And I believe the flagpole is the exact center. So let's take a closer look. Here's the longitude and latitude. And there's where the X meets with the flagpole in the center. And let's go inside and take a closer look. And here's a closer look at the flagpole in the center. This is supposedly where the X would meet. And also here we have a time capsule. And there's a bench to sit on and reflect on the center of New Mexico and a logbook where we can sign 
our names. So let's do that now. All right, here's the log book. Looks like it has a lot of information inside of it. Newspaper articles and everything else, pretty cool. Here inside the logbook, there's a map showing where the geometric center is and how they figured that this is the geometric center. And looking at the logbook, it looks like we're the first to visit, at least the first to sign the logbook since August 26th. And believe it or not, the last people were also from California. And there we go, we've added our names to the logbook. So that's the geometric center of New Mexico. Now we're gonna to head to the geographic center of New Mexico. Luckily, New Mexico is pretty square, so the geographic center is not that far from here. So let's go. So we've made it to the geographic center of New Mexico, which is only about three, three and a half miles away from where we just were at the geometric center. And it's actually just right here on the other side of this fence. It is private property, but it's about 200 feet in this direction. So this is as close as we can get to it. But here is the geographic center of New Mexico. So that's our journey to the center of New Mexico. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.